Hey folks, Green Stuff Gav here. We've actually got a bonus video this week because I've just had um, the this month's Warhammer Imperium arrive. And I thought, well, you might as well get it videoed and uploaded so if it's of any interest, you guys can uh, buy it. Now, for those who don't know, Warhammer Imperium is a monthly magazine by Hatchet Pirate Works where it's an introduction to the Warhammer 40,000 gaming hobby and contains a whole load of uh, magazines with lore, rules, uh, and figures, and painting guides and things. Now, we c I don't know if you guys can see, this This month it's arrived in a box, because I'm expecting a binder, but this box is actually open. So I'm hoping it's all still in here. And um, yeah, we'll have a look and see what we've got this month. There's not a lot required to open this one, so let's have a look. There. So, yep, here's our binder, same as the other ones, it's, it's a real shame, like the, bi the binders themselves have all been identical, and it's a real shame, they could have done something more with them, like maybe a different um, artwork on them or something, but it was to be, oh well, never mind, all right, what have we got? Bones of the Marton, Kiljama Skull. A pair of no novels in the next box. They say, oh, it's available unless you say you don't want it and they send it to you anyway. So, never mind. 46, 45, 44, 43. So, issue 43, we've got a paint and a brush. And that's the plate. Stormhost Silver, that's a, oh, assuming we can give it a shake and bring it back to life, that's actually a really bright silver, that's nice, I like that. I'm currently using Mithril Silver, which is an old, old Gingrich shop one. New layer brush, that doesn't look too bad, it's not too good though. Alright, we don't care about any of that. Beer Magazine. Yay! All the names for Sister of the Battle, which you can roll. It's cool. Heroic titles. And unit titles. Oh, that's cool. I like these. These are like random fluff that you can put together for your armies. Um, a lot of 40k at the moment is all single armies. They're all this, all look the same. All the units are the same. So it's nice to have some customization. Again, so for some customization for Necrons. Fluff back the thousand sons. Magnus, he did nothing wrong. More fluff. Very fluff heavy this issue, I think. How to do edge high painting? That's cool. Two different techniques, edge highlighting and tip. That's cool. I like, um, I, well, you've seen me paint. I tend to be braced all the time. So that's nice that it's giving you simple techniques like this. But for those that haven't done the hobby, it's nice to get. So we're going back to all the old minis we've had and giving them a bit of extra detailing. It's cool. So a lot of this sacred rights. So again, I don't know how this lines up with the current um, rules for Sisters of Battle or Adeptus Sororitas, if you want to. But what we've got here: Canon, Librarian, Assault Intercessors, and Skidari. Nice. Hmm. What for is some terrain, some forty k ruins. Standard ruins. I do like. I mean, I give GW their due. Obviously, like their plastic work is fantastic, and like 
real intricate detail, really lovely. Right, it's obviously got the marking you, for the fuel tank that's been busted up. Yeah, cool. I do like them. I do like the GW plastics. We've got here terrain, that white scars, and a placing terrain. Ooh. That's cool. That's not ruined 40k terrain. Got the white scars. Al House, friend of mine, runs white scars in 30k. Now to build our terrain pieces. Paint it white. Paint the edges red, put it all in ink. Very cool. Dry brushing. I do like that. I mean, obviously, a lot of terrain just gets done silver and dry brushed. This is actually good. I have to place terrain. Some examples. Mm. Now, I don't know if these strategic reserves are the actual 40k rules on how to use strategic reserves. That's cool. That's when the, um, I don't know what the Imperial Guard Regiment is. The young lady hunted an orc. The Armageddon Orc Hunters. Reserves. Hmm. Another scenario. Ooh. Colt 45. We have got a single canoptic wraith. I'm, um, I'm in two minds. Like I, I have a soft spot for the original canoptic wraith, big metal things, but they fell over all the time. And I give GW their due, like the, the intricacies on the plastic kits are lovely. Like, look at that. Lovely swirling tail. Very cool. The base. One canoptic wraith. So nine pounds. I assume it's a 30 quid box set for three. So it's slightly cheaper to buy this issue three times or buy all three issues. What do we get? Shadow Hunter. Mm -hmm. Again, some just a little fluff to make them your dudes. It's cool. Again, more fluff. Just for gear, for war gear this time. Emperor's voice. Mm. Cool. Bower's heart. Astra Militarum, also known as Imperial Guard. What have we got here? Cool. This is a new one, but these are all standard, still Legion. Mm. How to assemble our Canoptic Wraith guys. How to paint our canoptic wraith. Canoptic wraith, again, don't know how this lines up to the current. Oh, plus invulnerable save. Wow. One canoptic wraith. Kill. What's this? Alien Tides, Orcs, 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 Eldari, Drukari, Eldar and Dark Eldar, for those who are, doesn't buy GW's copyright, Tyranids and Tau, I do like Tyranids, and little map of the Tau regions, cool, nice little bit of fluff, I see the um, new avatar model. Fantastic. Four from finally. Issue 46. What have we got in here? 
So this is part of the obviously part of the sister battle army box they did, the limited army box, um, where they just released everything separately afterwards. So we should have two Seraphim or Zephyrim, an Archoflagon, a Pentio, and two sisters. Now we've all seen these brew before because, like I said, it came in the army box. I do like you got alternate heads for the actual sisters. And what I'd do about that. If I was to sell it, I'd, I don't know. You'd have to sell it as a sprue, I think. Cool. Sisters. Seven miniatures for nine pounds. So, to be fair, you'd buy three of them to get yourself a full squad. The sisters. I don't know, Saratus. Origin for each of your sisters, two, three of which we haven't had yet. Soul Survivor of Orcs, Child of the Commander. Yeah. That's a very dark, not very nice background. It's not, oh, the family sent her into fake. Yeah, that's cool. So, Seraphim with two pistols. Oh, yeah, Zephyrin with the combat ones, aren't they? Yeah. Mysteriously spare, spared by the Eldari. Yep. How to assemble them. Different size bases. 28 mil base. That's really surreal. I think it's only used on the um, Revenger. I don't think it gets a lot of use elsewhere. How to paint our martyred lady. Corax White, Rotom Flesh Set. That's come out really nice. I have to try that. See what sort of. Yeah, that's... I'll have to give that a try at some point. Again, data sheets. I don't know how much that lines up. And we've got some Sister of Battle versus some Necrons. Cool. Sorry. Two layers, two colours, more terrain next week. Next issue. He's a four. Yeah. All in all, not a bad set, especially for those doing Sisters of Battle. Again, we're, I'm surprised we haven't seen more Space Marines, but I do know why. Again, it's to get people to subscribe, not cancel their subscription, but. Hmm, strange. Well, at least it's all here, I think. Yeah, it doesn't actually change. Um, yeah, so nothing fell out, thankfully. Fell out of the box. Well, not a bad, not bad set of issues, to be honest. And I imagine there's some resale value there. Cool. Well, as always, thanks for watching and have fun.